Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionlyEffects.com. Today we're going to be looking at M Cinegraph version 2. M Cinegraph is an amazing plugin for Motion VFX that allows you to quickly create animated GIFs out of your video files and export them directly from Final Cut. So let me show you how this works. So first thing, let's go and check out which clip we want to use. I want to use the clip of this woman here playing the violin. So I'm just going to drag this into my timeline and let me scrub so you can see how this video looks. She's just kind of playing, she looks down and drops it. But let's say I want to create a GIF of only her playing. And let's say that I only want her playing and I don't want any of the water moving. We're just going to select as much of this clip that we want. So I'm going to make that my duration for this clip here. So now that I know the duration of my clip, I'm going to pick up and cinegraph out of my effects and drag that in. You can see that we are now presented with some on-screen controls. This is our brush tool, an eraser tool, our frame tool, and then our export tool. Then if we go over in our inspector, we can see our display mode for final mask, still frame, animated, animated mask. We'll go over that in a second. And then we have our brush, frame options, and our export options. Now these are the same options as your on-screen controls. So the first thing I want to look at is how is our frame going to look? So we're going to click this and then we can define the frame that we are wanting to see while we're working. I'm just gonna leave that at frame one for now. And then I want to brush. So we have our brush size, uh, feathering tool and opacity. So I'm going to make my brush size kind of big there. And then I'm going to feather that out quite a bit. And then I'm just going to brush this mask over the areas that I want to be moving. And everything else outside of that mask will be being still. So I'm just kind of selecting her and the top half of her and the bow there. Okay. Awesome. Now, when we see our framing here, we have original, we have loop, and we have ping pong. These are different styles of animated GIFs. So for this, we're just going to set the loop. And then you can now see that we have a define frame start and the define frame ending. So I actually want to bring that ending back a bit and you'll see why, because if I let it go for the full duration, it's just gonna play the entire video. But if we bring it back, then you will see that that is just going to start looping. There we go. Now, I actually want this. I think it looks better to ping pong because she's going back and forth with the bow. So I'm just going to click that and then we can define the frame ending. And I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. And you see how she's kind of going back and forth there. Really cool. Now you'll notice that our mask there is a bit off. So why don't we go into our display mode in our inspector. We can see that mask. We can see the still frame. We can see animated and we can see animated mask. I'm going to go back to my masked area and I want to just add a bit more of that mask. I'm going to go back to the original bit there. So let me feather this now. Let me make my brush size a bit smaller. And I am just outlining her now because I want that water to be still. Let's go back to my final. And then now you can see that she is moving and she is just kind of going back and forth doing that ping pong effect. Now, if you wanted, you can also come over and you can invert your mask and then she is going to be still while that water is moving. So now since this is inverted, we would just use this brush tool and it is now erasing her out of those frames where she's moving a bit. And you can see now just the water is moving and ping ponging back and forth. 
All right, so now let's go over exporting. You have your export GIF over here in your inspector, or you can click on your on-screen control here. And then you can set your size. Obviously, the higher size, the higher quality you are going to get, but the bigger file you're gonna get. Let's go ahead and just set that to the maximum size of 4K. And then when we click Export GIF, we can see here that we can just go ahead and give that a name. I have already done this, so let's just call this a Violin 2, and we will click Save. And you will get this progress bar letting you know that your GIF is now being exported. Now, depending on the machine you're using, export times may vary. And we can now see that our GIF has been exported that came in at 22.2 megabytes. And there it is, just ping-ponging back and forth really nicely, really beautifully. MCineGraph is now available from MotionVFX.com. It is compatible with all Apple Silicon devices. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.